the more you can trust that there is a deeper intelligence that has the exact overview, the more you can surrender to that intuitive guidance that is coming to you in each moment. And the more you will naturally embody your purpose vibration and express more of the potential in your mission. Welcome to the Seeing in the Dark podcast, the podcast for the women of the ancient futures. Women that see beyond eyes and know beyond mind and are here to make a change from a deep communion with the mystery of life. Seeing in the dark is about walking paths that have not been walked before and daring to show up for the mission and dream life that is knocking on your door. My name is Nicole Nima Costeras, mystic, medium, initiated priestess and here to take you into the mysteries of purpose, power, ritual and intuition. May you embody your own unique essence so deeply that your vibration naturally teaches, inspires, and assists others. Let's dive in. Welcome to this week's episode, Three Ways to Discover Your True Purpose. The reason I'm making this episode is because last week we started a new round of the six month You Are a Soul Leader Mastermind with an amazing, amazing group of women that are ready to build a business that just oozes exactly their vibration. And for the process of launching this new round of the mastermind, I was doing many discovery calls. <laughs> You might know that I let go of discovery calls like a year and a half ago or something, but because this was the first launch that I was doing with Facebook advertisements, we decided because the audience from the advertisement doesn't know me at all, we decided to bring back the discovery calls just to see how that flows um, for working with the audience that comes to advertisements. So I'm super happy. We have a beautiful group of women in the mastermind, but in the discovery calls, there were also some women not ready yet to make that big step of a six month program to build your business from the inside out, to access the greatness and power of their leadership. And these women, I didn't tell no. And it's very interesting. I think this was the round of discovery calls where I told the most women, like more women know than ever before. And the reason is because after now six rounds of the mastermind, I know exactly what is needed for women to be ready to go through this program. So for you, if you're listening, if you were feeling that pool of, oh, I would love to build a business that oozes exactly my vibration. I would love to become clear on what my purpose is. I feel that that's a big step for now. Then a smaller step could be my six week program, Channeling Your Higher Self, which is, you could say, the preparation program towards the mastermind. It's the program where you embody your most free and alive self. It's the program where you learn to honor and take action from the power of your inner guidance, resonance, and intuition in each moment. Because that's what brought me to where I am today. I mean, I can talk about strategies, I can talk about tools, I can talk about business development, but at the core of that, it was always me choosing where my inner guidance, my resonance, my intuition was guiding me in each moment. And the more I started to do that, the more a life started to create itself beyond my wildest dreams. And so channeling your higher self teach you everything that you need to know about creating that life beyond your wildest dreams by honoring where your intuition guides you in each moment. And also, it's a six-week program that connects you to the heart of your mission. So it's especially for you if you feel like, I really want to create a life beyond my wildest dreams. I really want to build a business that just oozes exactly my vibration. But first, I need to know what my purpose is exactly. I want to know what is my mission? What do I actually want in life? That's the program for you, channeling your higher self. And to give a little bit of a taste of what we'll be working with, today I will share with you three ways to discover your true 
purpose. So there is in the coming week a new round starting of channeling your higher self and you can join. It has amazing trainings, meditations, practices and a community space in which I will answer any questions that you have during your six week journey. And I want to talk with you about these three ways to discover your true purpose because I see so many women struggle with this. They say, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my mission is. And the thing is with purpose, that's number one of the three ways to discover your true purpose. Your purpose is not a thing you do. Your purpose is a vibration you are. Meaning your purpose vibration, what I prefer to call it, is something that is with you from the moment you enter into this world. Your purpose vibration is not only connected to your work. It's a vibration that you carry with you throughout your daily life, wherever you go. And because it's so natural to who you are, it's very easy to overlook your purpose. Because it's so, like, I mean, you can maybe also recognize that with some of the key qualities that you have, you can be like, I don't know, because they're so natural to you that you tend to overlook them. Yeah, so this is one of the things that channeling your higher self helps you with to see what are those key qualities in my essence? What is that purpose vibration that I'm carrying with me? But I will give you a few hints today so you can already look into the right direction. When I started to discover my purpose vibration is when I started to notice that certain feedback that came to me kept repeating. So some examples of what women would always reflect back to me. They would say, you have this blend of power and vulnerability that I really love. It's like there is a lot of strength and power in you, but also this gentleness and this vulnerability. So those were two aspects of my essence that I just kept hearing over and over and over and over again. So what are those for you? What are some qualities that you just keep on hearing from others. They just keep reflecting that back to you over and over and over again. They are key when it comes to becoming clear on your mission and purpose. But also, what are some of the transformations that people go through or some of the things people feel inspired to do or to be when they're in connection with you? For example, when I'm in connection with people and that's inside work, but also in my free time. Also when I meet someone random on the streets, what I very often get back is that they feel a deeper trust in their intuition or in their psychic abilities, or they feel deeper trust in the connection with the unseen realms like the spirits and the spirit world. And also very often they feel inspired in their purpose, in their mission. They feel inspired and they believe more in that it's possible for them to create a life, a business, a lifestyle of their dreams. This is something that just happens. So I can be random in a conversation with someone and they feel suddenly inspired to do the thing they've been postponing for such a long time. Or they suddenly believe that it's possible for them to live the deepest of their potential. Or they suddenly feel inspired to start that business that they've been feeling for so long, but they were scared and fear of failure and all the things So there's something around that. Those are two examples of transformations that I see happen in people that I am in connection with. And like I said, purpose is not only connected to your work. Purpose is connected to a vibration that you carry with you. It's like you emanate that vibration wherever you go and it's opening certain qualities. It's making certain transformations available in the people that come into connection with your purpose vibration. That's it. So when you embody your essence so deeply that you become a walking transmission of that purpose vibration, that's what purpose is all about for me. All right. So that's number one. Yeah. Purpose is not a thing you do, but a vibration you are. And the more clear you become on that purpose vibration, the easier it becomes to channel that into a mission because a mission is the expression of your purpose vibration. So for example, all the things that I shared before with you are some flavors of my purpose vibration, but the way I've been expressing that into the world has been changing over time. 
When I look back into my life, my purpose vibration has been with me probably since the moment I enter into this world. <laughs> yeah, I always had this powerful like energy that expressed when I was younger as very rebellious, but I also always had this gentleness to me and this vulnerability. And also when I look back, I always had this connection to the spirit world and to spirits and to intuition. So anybody that I came in touch with would come in touch with that as well. Yeah. And I also, for as long as I can remember, have this will to this inspiration to create a life beyond my wildest dreams. Even in moments where I had no clue how to do it, that doesn't matter, but that was always part of my essence of my purpose vibration. Now, the mission is the way you channel your purpose vibration into the world. So, for example, when I started my business journey, I was channeling my purpose vibration into a mission of a massage practice. Yeah. And then later on, I was doing mediumship courses. And then later on, I started to build my second business, Wild Woman Rise, which was all about the wild power in women. And now it's my Women of Ancient Futures uh, mission. Yeah. So the expression of the purpose vibration has been changing, like the mission has been changing, but it all came from that same source. That same energy was underneath all of it. So this is something we go deep into in channeling your higher self, the six week journey to embody your most free and alive self, access the heart of your mission and live a life beyond your wildest dreams. Those are the focuses in this six week journey. Number two, follow your resonance and intuition and trust that over anything else. That's how you discover your true purpose. That's how you will live the fullness of your mission by following your resonance, trusting your intuition and make the decisions and take the actions from there. Even if there is 1000 yes buts coming up to honor where your intuition guides you in each moment. Even if there is fear, doubt, overwhelm, then you break it up into a little step because yes, you don't have to overwhelm your nervous system. Always take the actions from the power of your intuition in connection to the capacity of your nervous system. But then you break that big step up into a smaller one. Yeah. It's like when I made the promise to myself in 2014, I said, from now on in this moment, I will always prioritize where my intuition guides me in each moment. Even if it scares the shit out of me, even if I have no idea where it will take me, I will prioritize and honor that over anything else. And I started by doing that on the weekends, by taking two hours and taking the time to see where is my intuition guiding me now? And where is it now? And where is it now? So I started to do that more in my free time, you could say. And before I knew it, it started to ripple out into all of my daily life. And then it started to drastically change my life on every aspect, every aspect to the point where I now look back and I literally feel like I'm a completely different person than who I was back then. Although at the same time, I recognize myself more than ever. Yeah, so the second one, the more you start to prioritize where your intuition guides you in each moment, and the more you start to make your decisions and take your actions from that place, the more of the true potential of you, your mission, and your dream lifestyle will naturally become available naturally. And yes, that will ask you to face your deepest fears. It will ask you to face your deepest insecurities. It will ask you to step into places that are simply scary, but that's just part of the journey, you know, and you've heard me say this many times before. It's not about getting rid of all the fears. It's about your relationship with them. So it's about teaching your body to become comfortable with discomfort. I'm not going too much into that today because I've been talking about it a lot already over the last few episodes. If you want to know more about it, just listen back to those episodes. But yeah, I can see that where I am today, if I do not honor what my intuition is telling me, very quickly, I feel my energy spiral out of it very quickly. So my energy became that sensitive now that even if I make a little bit of a disalignment in my choices and actions, I feel it in big ways. So I believe that there is a deeper intelligence that is working us 
And that deeper intelligence, whether you want to call it your higher self or God or the mystery, the great mystery of life, this higher intelligence has the overview. And that's number three. To trust that your higher self has the overview of what it's building for you. I hope it makes sense the way I explain, but let me explain it a little bit more. Our linear mind in the personal you has a limited capacity to see where we're going in life. So our linear mind tends to want to have security, predictability, insurance, and all those things. But actually how the deeper intelligence of life works is through a non-linear way. So for the linear mind, it might look like your intuition is guiding you a bit all over the place because now it's going left and then it's going up and then it's going sideways and then it looks like it's taking three steps back. But actually there is a profound intelligence that is working you. Yeah. I remember times that maybe I felt I need to finish this work and I need to do all these things, but actually my resonance told me to take a bath and do nothing. And then actually taking that bath and doing nothing brought so much more clarity about my business than if I would have forced myself to work and push, right? So the difference between what the linear mind can bring in terms of intelligence and what that deeper intuition, that nonlinear intelligence can bring is mind blowing. It blows up your mind and it has you trust in something deeper. And so the more you can trust in that your higher self has that overview, your higher self knows the picture that it's weaving. All you have to do is follow your intuition in the moment. Because anyway, the big vision that you have right now is limited. Because it's beautiful to have. I'm not saying don't have your big visions. I have my big visions. But when I look back, my first big vision was to have a full massage practice right? If I would have held on tightly with my logical mind to that vision, I would not have been where I am today. But it was only until I extracted everything I needed to extract from that big vision that another vision opened and another vision opened, right? So the more you can trust that there is a deeper intelligence that has the exact overview, the more you can surrender to that intuitive guidance that is coming to you in each moment. And the more you will naturally embody your purpose vibration and express more of the potential in your mission. And that's the essence of everything that I'm teaching and everything that I'm living and everything that I'm being. And through these three reminders, I also warmly want to invite you into the six-week journey channeling your higher self, because this six-week journey is all about that, making that shift from moving through your logical mind and control to surrendering to something deeper and allowing your higher self to move you, allowing to make the decisions and the action steps from that place, becoming super clear on your purpose vibration so you can channel that into your mission and to understand that everything will naturally unfold from there. Yes, you need to face your fears and your doubts and the program goes deeply into how you can do that, how you can strengthen your courage, how you can train yourself to hold difficult processes, to hold challenges in your life. But then a true potential becomes available. And when you go through this six-week program, it's an amazing preparation towards then building that mission and that business that oozes exactly your vibration. So I warmly invite you into this six-week journey together. And remember that the blueprint of your purpose is always already with you. All you need to do is turn around, look at yourself and see the beautiful purpose vibration that is already with you. I send you much love. I would love to see you this week in Channeling Your Higher Self, the new round. We have a really beautiful, special offer for this round. And I wish you a beautiful week. Much love. Did you receive any inspiration, motivation, or powerful breakthroughs by listening to this episode? Then please share this episode by taking a screenshot and tagging me in your stories at nicole.nima.costeres. I would love to celebrate with you, share you in my stories, and it would mean so much to have my work reach more powerful, passionate women like you. Thank you so much and looking forward to see you next week.